Hi guys, in this video we'll have a look at installing Cisco Security Manager 4.12. Um, I've already installed uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 uh, here and I've already copied the installer files here as well. Now what I've had to do to install uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 is install it in the US locale. You can also use the Japanese locale but any other locale and CSM complaints I will not install. Now there's another three things we need to do and the first thing is to give it a static IP address the second thing is to disable Internet Explorer enhanced security and the final thing is to manually define the virtual memory configuration so if we right click here go to run and if we um, type here ncpa.cpl and if we configure the network adapter with a static IP address properties and I'll give it an IP version 4 address so my address will be 192.168.10.70 my mask will be a slash 24 and my gateway will be a 192.168.10.1 and I'll give it a public uh, DNS address 4.2.2.2 I'll click OK here, click OK here and uh, now we've given it a static IP address. Uh, the next thing we need to do is disable uh, Internet uh, Explorer Enhanced Security. So if we go to Server Manager here, and if we click Local Server here, and then if we scroll to the right here, we've got it here. So Internet Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration, which is uh, annoying. Uh, let's turn it off here for administrators and users as well and click OK here. So that's disabled. And the final thing we need to do is if we right click here, go to Control Panel and then if we go to System and Security, go to System, go to Advanced System Settings, under Performance, click Settings, uh, click Advanced and under Virtual Memory, click Change here. Now you need to untick this box, automatically manage paging file sizes for all drives and then click this box, custom size. I'll just give it 500 meg as my minimum, 2048 as my maximum. Click on set and then if we click OK, uh, we get a prompt uh, to say the changes you've made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. So click OK, click OK here and it will prompt me to restart so I'll restart and pause the video and once it's uh, back up and running my server I'll uh, start the video again so the server's back up and running uh, if I do a control alt uh, delete and login Once it's um, back, uh, it's logged in, which it has done now. We'll double click the folder here, the installer folder. It's got the installer files in here. And we'll double click the setup file. So this is CSM 4.12. And the wizard starts here. So we just need to follow the wizard. could be a bit slow my uh, virtual machine is a uh, 4 gig of RAM here so if you want to see my settings here so 4 gig of RAM here um, and uh, yeah here's my process settings um, let's uh, cross the server manager off and it's giving us a warning about antivirus so ensure that your uh, antivirus is disabled if you've got antivirus on your server if we click OK here we come up to the welcome screen if we click next here and the first page is uh, the license agreement so we have to accept that or else it will uh, not let us uh, continue with the wizard so let's click next there, choose destination location, we'll uh, use the defaults and click next. And then uh, we can select or clear components you need or you don't need to install. So I want to install the top and bottom, 
but we'll leave the auto update server deselected. You can also install the bottom one, the client from the browser after the installation is complete, but we will install it uh, now. So you can also just do select all, deselect all. So if we click next there with the top and bottom one selected. And then um, if you get this warning, then you may need to increase the swap space. And if we press OK here, it will provide some guidance on uh, swap space here as well. So um, we'll just click next here. And then it may complain about RAM, depending on what you have set yours to. So I have 4 gig, so it's complaining that the minimum requirement is 8 gig. But mine is just a lab, so I'll ignore it. Click OK here. And the next page is the license information. So I'm going to be using the evaluation license here. It is quite long. It gives you uh, 90 days with the evaluation license. So plenty of time to play around with the product. And next, we'll provide the admin password. So provide the password, click next, provide a system identity account password as well. Click next again. So it says installation will create the local uh, user CA user. It's used by Cisco Security Manager to run uh, processes without having root privileges. So uh, this is fine and click yes to proceed. And then we get the summary page so you get the show details as well but you have to be very careful with this because um, it shows you the passwords as well so detailed information can have um, security sensitive data such as passwords in clear text make sure to keep this information secure so if we just click next here you can see the information and uh, you can see the passwords as well so I use the password of Cisco CSM here so in a real life uh, environment you want to be careful with this setting and finally we can click install here now it's going to take a while to install so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and once it's installed I'll uh, restart the video again Right, I've uh, restarted the video uh, just temporarily, just show that the initialization phase, uh, initializing has completed, it's doing the copying now, and then I'll move on to configuring after copying. So it's only on 1%, now it's jumped to 3%, I'll restart the video, I'll pause the video and restart it again. Right, I've uh, started the video again, and it's done the initializing, and it's done the copying and now it's doing the configuring so I've been here for four or five minutes uh, so far waiting for these two phases here and just waiting for the final phase now the final bit of the installation uh, which may take another few minutes so I'll pause the video again right so uh, CSM is now installed and uh, that last bit took uh, about half an hour so it took absolute ages so uh, be prepared for that um, we cross this uh, section off this um, folder and we get this um, notification please obtain a valid license key from cisco.com within 90 days so after 90 days your eval license will expire if I uh, click OK here it will give me another notification to restart my server so it should pop up any second now So it says the install shield wizard is complete so uh, yes I want to restart my computer now so I click finish I pause the video again and start it again once the uh, server is back up and running. Right so the server has been restarted and I've also logged in 
Now what you'll see is two icons on the left hand side here. So one's called Cisco Security Manager and the other one's called Cisco Security Manager Client. Now uh, the manager icon allows you to configure system settings for CSM itself like backup and you can also install a client from here too. Now this setting, the Cisco Security Manager Client, um, this basically allows you to manage the firewalls that integrate with CSM. So what we'll do is we'll double click Cisco Security Manager first, uh, continue to this website and then we'll log in. So username is admin by the way. So we've logged in. What you can see here is uh, two options here. So here's where you can install the client, but we've already installed it. Cisco Security Manager Client Installer. So you can uh, install a client from here, or what you can do is uh, you can administer the server. So if you click that, uh, you get the options in here to um, make changes to the server itself. So manage Cisco CSM server itself. So you can see the uh, options here. Um, so the admin section contains the following features, and it gives you features like backup, log rotation, um, yeah, system preferences such as SMTP, um, administrators, etc. So if we click here, you can see all the uh, options in here. So server, you can go to one of these um, system preferences, for example. and then you see all the settings in here but we'll uh, we'll have a look at this uh, we'll save it for another video you've also got software center as well for software updates so let's minimize that and let's just uh, log into Cisco security manager client just to ensure this is working as well So again, the username will be admin, um, you give it an IP address the, as the uh, server name, so we'll go for 192.168.10.70, 127.0.0.1 may work as well, so uh, let's, uh, I've not checked 127.0.0.1 but it should work, but let's uh, give it a username of admin, uh, our password of Cisco CSM and you can uh, specify the view so the default view is the dashboard that's uh, the most common place uh, you uh, usually um, arrive to but it's, it's, uh, it's on your personal preference and again it, it gives you a notification about evaluation as well so eval version in use you're currently using an evaluation version of Cisco Security Manager. So let's uh, continue with the evaluation. And eventually it will uh, open up the dashboard. My dashboard won't have much in it. It's a brand new install. There's no firewalls integrated with it. So um, there won't be much information to see but at least we can log in uh, get a, a very quick picture of what the dashboard looks like um, as you can see there's some other menu options here maximize that you can go to configuration manager uh, you can see here there's no stats um, so if we hit configuration manager here it will open up the uh, configuration manager and again I'm not going to have much information as I've got no uh, devices integrated with Cisco CSM Right, so it's opened uh, Configuration Manager, you can see I've got no devices in here. Or no policies set up as well. So, uh, here we are. I uh, hope you found this video useful.
and thanks for watching.